This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so uh, we will be studying our next topic that is process management. Okay, so nothing but uh, PA sheet. PA sheet. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover they are we will see process management overview. We will understand what is process management, use of process instructions, what are process instructions and how they are used. We will see creation of control recipe, what is control recipe, how it is created. We will see sending the control recipes, how these control recipes are sent to process control system. We will understand control recipe monitor, what is control recipe monitor, how that is used, then maintaining the PA sheet process instruction sheet how to maintain it how to input the values in this process instruction sheet we will see creation of process messages how to create the process messages and then process messages monitor how to use this process messages monitor we will see this okay so first we will start with the uh, introduction to process management so we will understand what is process management basically okay the process management is used to coordinate the exchange of production relevant data between the SAP system and the independent production level, maybe an external system. So basically in the process management, it is used basically in the PPPA. Okay, in the la last session we discussed about PPPA, process manufacturing. So in the process manufacturing industries, they use this process management. So what they do, they uh, this process management, what it does is, it take the production relevant data from the process order and it will send to the uh, process control system. Okay, so this process management serves as the interface between PPPA and the systems involved in process control. It is like an interface. You send the data from the process order to the process control system and also you receive the data from the process control system back to process okay so how it happens is it's like a two way flow okay so you have your process order okay. you have your process order nothing but pppa okay from this you send the data to process controls process management process management and it is sent to PCS process control system. Okay. Now, after after they enter the data in the process control system, the information again sent back to the process order. So it's like a two-way flow. Like a two-way flow. Okay. So here, now once they enter the data, the information again comes back and get updated in the process order. Nothing but PP. So this process management management acts as the interface basically acts as the interface basically acts as the interface okay oh. now to settle a pro process order to settle a process order the actual quantity is produced and the time needed must be confirmed from production so instead of doing the manual entries instead of doing manual transactions what happens is the process process control system or PA sheet will have a uh, what do you call screen screen kind of thing where user input all the values and those values will come and get updated in the process order. So you send the data from the process order to the process control system and again you receive the actual production data from the process control system back to the process order. Okay. Process management supports the direct confirmation from the PA sheet and process control system to the process order by sending process message to predefined message destination. That means you receive the data back to the process order from the process control system, nothing but PA sheet. Okay, so this one here, this is nothing but a PA sheet. This is nothing but a PA sheet. Sheet. Okay. So this one also nothing but a PA sheet. I'll show you a PA sheet. You will get a uh, 
uh, what do you call it? you will get a clarity on how the pa sheet looks like if you see here if i go back you need to go to okay let me log in again let me log in I'll log in again okay so i'll go to a transaction co60 i'll come to this transaction again when we execute the entire flow i'll enter the plan double one double zero okay i'll just execute okay when i execute i'll take this last one last pa sheet if you go to display so a typical pa sheet will look like this okay you see here this is a screen you give a screen kind of thing to the user their user will input the values let's say here you see he and he will enter the quantity of the components he consumes these are the quantities he consumed for the raw materials so whatever the data he enters here then that will go back and get updated in the process it will get updated in the process this is how a pa sheet looks like you give a screen kind of thing to the user where he just go and update the enter the all the production data like what are the components consumed what are the quantities of the components consumed what is the quantity produced okay and what is the production timings production hours all those things he can enter on this pa sheet so now we will see how to generate this pa sheet what data we need to maintain in the system all those things we will discuss okay so let's continue so basically so what we are doing here is we create process order we create the process order now from the process order you send the information to the process control system using control recipe control recipe okay now in this pa sheet the users will enter the information actual production data they will enter and this will come and get updated in the process order so like goods issue postings raw material consumption and confirmations production process order confirmations okay and gr good receipt posting all these things will come and get updated in the process order automatically okay so user will not do any manual activities like for uh, goods issue we can we, we did me go that user will not do or process order confirmation cor 6n that user normally will not do or for production gr me go so all these things user will not do okay instead of doing these manual activities you give a screen the one which i showed you which is called pa sheet where user will go and input all the actual production data that will come and get updated in the process order so it's like a two way flow you send the information process order information to the process control system and again you receive the actual production data from the process control system back to process order so it's like a two way flow two way data flow okay so here here we will understand uh, uh, how the data flow happens once the process order has been released for production and saved the production relevant data for control recipe is summarized and sent to process management that means so normally in our flow if you recollect our yesterday's class normally in the in the ma manufacturing execution first we create the process order create process order and after that what you do you do the material availability check availability check okay after that what you do you release the process order release the process order process order and after that we do goods issue we do goods issue and then process order confirmation process order confirmation Okay, and after that we read the GR goods receipt. Goods receipt. But if you are using process management functionality, these steps will not be there normally. These will be done through PA sheet. These three steps. Okay, so up to release will happen as usual. Now from there you will not have these steps. So what you will have is you will have a different steps. I'll explain those different steps. Okay. So what happens is, once the process order has been released, you will generate a control recipe. Okay. Process management, process management receives the control recipes and sends them to the process operator 
and process control system responsible. So what happens is the next step is here you generate the controls. Generate generate control ECP. I will show you this in the system. Control ECP. Okay. Then once the control ECP is generated, send the control ECP control ECP to PCS. Okay, nothing but PHE. I will show you everything in the system. Here we are understanding the flow basically. Okay, this will not be there. All these goods issue, confirmation, good receipt, all will done through PHE. So you send the control recipe to PHE. Next. Next step. Okay, after the after the process operator after the process operator or process control system has carried out the production steps the process messages containing the current production times and quantities are created automatically in the pa sheet or process control system so on the pa sheet the users the production operators will enter the actual production data like what is the raw materials consumed what is the production timings what is the quantity of the finished product produced all those things they will enter so that is called maintaining the PA sheet. Maintaining the PA sheet. PA sheet. All this we will see in the system. So now after that, the next step. Then after that, when they maintain the PA sheet, when they maintain the PA sheet, system will generate the process messages. The process messages with the confirmed data are first sent to process management where they are checked and passed on to the corresponding process message destination that is nothing but process so the data will come back and get updated in the process order example process order provided the check was successful so next step is send the process messages 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 to that is nothing but your processor. Processor. So those values will come and get updated in the processor. So these are the steps. So now we will see this entire flow in the system. And to execute this flow, entire entire flow in the system, what settings we need to do. All those things we will understand.